You might not know that former Olympic star Fatima Whitbread had a really tough start to life. She spent the first 14 years of it in care, where she suffered emotional, physical and sexual abuse until she was adopted by her coach. Yeah, now she campaigns to make sure children have the safe and happy childhood they all deserve. And that's why she's decided to take on her own London Marathon Challenge by walking the route a day ahead of the race. She's doing it tomorrow to raise money for Action for Children. Uh, we spoke to her in the studio earlier and started by asking why what she's doing is so important. I think these children, you know, need a voice and Action for Children do that really well, but I think it's also uh, helpful to have somebody who's lived that life and can understand, because I understand very well what these children uh, are going through. Can you tell us a little, as much as you're comfortable with, about your own childhood experience? I was abandoned as a baby, some would say left to die in a flat in London and a neighbour heard that baby crying so she reported it to the police and they uh, obviously rescued the baby and I ended up in uh, the um, childcare system for 14 years. I could have been adopted but they didn't feel that um, the family that came forward to adopt were the right kind of family for me in terms of they were English and, and me being Fatima who had a Muslim name, they felt that wasn't though they didn't put those two things together. What a child needs is love and security of a, of a good family, a good home. And every child has the right to a safe and happy life, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's quite clear to me. I mean, mm. even in this day and age, um, there's a lot of poverty that we're going through. I think there's about 800,000 children at the moment with families that are going through a lot of poverty that are living on the, on the food banks. Mm. And um, 100,000 children in care. And as a, as a kid who grew up in the 80s, I remember you know, watching you at the, at the peak of your powers, thinking how amazing you were and how inspirational you were winning world championships and Olympic medals. And I think probably many people of, of my age didn't know at the time what you were going through, what you had gone through. <laughs> Talking about that now and having spoken about that in the past, are you at ease isn't the right phrase, but... Have you come to terms with what happened to you and are you able to help others as well? You've got to learn to be able to know how to deal with that because even, uh, you know, as life goes on, you get triggered. You can get triggered easily by things and uh, therapy is really important for, for, for me even to this day. We all have issues, as we know, and we all got to learn to deal with them. So if I'm a sports person looking after what I need as a, uh, you know, a top flight international athlete and doing my sport that's one thing but the mindset's so important mm. for everybody in everyday life you know I mean it's tough out there and we all have issues and so why not look after the uh, mental health as well and I think that we need to learn to, to do this and I, I certainly have and I think for our young people that live in care we need to be able to skill them up properly so that when they're ready and prepared to go out they can actually stand on their feet. I know you've said a lot along the way that sport has been your saviour, so it seems quite fitting that your challenge tomorrow is yes. a sporting one. Are you yes. looking forward to your, your London Marathon Sporting Challenge, Challenge, walking the route? It's definitely. I'm really grateful for everybody that supported me as well and that have given uh, generously and donating. And, uh, yeah, um, for me, it's all about the cause. Um, it's not about... I mean, I, I ran last week 20 miles in three hours 40. Um, as you See, know, mate, yeah, <laughs> I'm actually quite hardcore, so as you, you know. Run it, but you've I could, and I've chosen to walk because I'm walking with Speedy Steve and Pacey Pete, That's and they're fast. London, yeah, they're <laughs> lovely guys, and they're they're marathon walkers, and we we will be walking quite a pace as well. You know, um, it's going to be a fast one. Um, so we start at seven o'clock and probably finish around about four. So that's quite enduring. Thank you so much for coming yeah. in and talking Thank to you. us and being so open and honest as well. Um, really appreciate it and we hope you raise a lot of money.